So viewers, in today's video, we will see how to perform a test run for depreciation in SAP S4 HANA cloud version. And uh, for this reason, we will go uh, to uh, periodic activities for asset accounting app, uh, which is available in uh, then schedule asset accounting jobs. Actually, the app name is, and it is available uh, through periodic activities for asset accounting. Uh, in the screen, we can choose uh, the new option, uh, which is plus sign, and uh, in the job template, then uh, we can uh, select the depreciation posting run, which is uh, pre-selected here. Uh, the job name is also uh, there, and if want, if we want to change it, we can also change it. Then also the you know recalculate option is also available, and. Uh, we can enter the values in the here, which is the you know company code and you know accounting fiscal, which need to be blank in our case, and uh, then fiscal year uh, need to be selected, posting period and the detail uh, log need to be selected in order we want uh, the detail log, and uh, there are various parameters available. So we'll start with the company code here. This is the, our current legal entity or company code. The fiscal year needs to be selected against which the depreciation test run has to be done. And the uh, posting periods need to be uh, 12. Okay. And there is accounting principal additional field which we can select if you want. And uh, but in this case, we will not select it. The mandatory fees are uh, need to be selected here. So after there are options at the bottom if we want total log or detailed log or no log at all. So three of these options are also available. And you might observe it on the right hand side. There is a test run tick mark which need to be selected in order if you want this to be as a test run. So this value must be checked. So that's it. Uh, okay, and uh, we can uh, press the schedule here, and uh, there will be a planned start of uh, the job. We can press enter to confirm. Once it's confirmed, the job screen will show it. You need to refresh the list until the job is completed. Okay, so There is a warning here. Posting run for future period requested. Please check, check the entry. Uh, there is a warning message, but I think we can ignore it because this is a test run. Okay, so we can see here the uh, process has been completed successfully, but with the warning that it is a future period. So there is no problem because this is a test run. We want to estimate our depreciation. Uh, so I think there is uh, no problem at all. And uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. now we, we can check the depreciation reserves here. So the document uh, document there there are three documents here. There are three documents in three lines. Uh, one for each depreciation area. We can double click uh, each of the document. You see uh, the document posting here. 
how it is posted what are the test reserves here so these are you know all uh, the appreciations in similar manner the other document also we need to check it about uh, another depreciation area so this is the complete list so Okay, so this is another depreciation area. So this is deep accounting principle is used deep. Thank you very much uh, for watching uh, this video, and I hope uh, if you find it informative, you will subscribe to the channel to receive more of uh, such videos. Thank you very much, guys.